one toxic habit that you're doing today that you need to stop now, especially if you have an autoimmune issue, thyroid issues, hormonal imbalances. So I learned this a little while ago. I read this book and it was called Toxic Oil. Sorry, I'm uh, getting the kids haircuts today. So we're also just on Main Street and I know I made this commitment. So I'm doing this live wherever and whenever I am out. So yeah, now I read this book called Toxic Oil. I had learned about this beforehand, but I wanted to find out whether it was real. And the first sentence of this book was, this oil causes, full stop, stay inside. Kids are trying to come out of the hairdressers now. Um, and I was just like, wow, well, what the heck is this book all about? And it was literally about canola oils and how canola oil or um, rapeseed oil or vegetable oil. Like they, they try and hide this under several different names. They call it canola oil, they call it rapeseed oil, they call it cottonseed oil, and they even try and hide it under something that sounds healthy as vegetable oil. How many vegetables do you know that produce oil? Yeah, none. So they try and hide this under that. Now, why I'm talking to you about this topic today is because last night I was at a dear friend's house and something that most people will have in their fridge is either butter or margarine or margarine as people sometimes call it. Now, margarine is made from canola oil or vegetable oil or whatever you want to call it. And I got a little bit you know, not annoyed, but I said, why do you have this in your house? I said, why do you have this in your house? And she's like, why, what do you mean? It's the, it's the healthy one that I always buy. And I'm like, no, no, you always buy the olive oil one. This, this is not the olive oil one. I said, have you read the ingredients on this? And she's like, no, isn't it just the same? I said, no, it's not. And I did get, I was very, being quite bossy with her and um, and I said, no, read the ingredients. This is not good for you. This causes, you are not to buy this again. And she did get, oh, oh, you know, well, don't tell me, you better tell my husband because he's the one who wanted to buy it. And so I turned to her husband and I said, you are not to buy this again. <laughs> like, and my husband said to me later, he was like, yeah, I know that you, you want to, you know, help them in this, but maybe this is, you know, maybe you might be being a bit bossy about it. And I'm like, no, I'm telling them because I care. I care about them. And if I know something that can affect someone's health so badly, then I am going to tell them because I care. So I challenge you, I challenge you because I care. You go and walk to your fridge. I want you to look at your margarine box. There are some good ones out there. I'm not going to, you know, bad mouth them all, but I want you to look at the ingredients. And if it has vegetable oil, canola oil, um, sunflower seed oil, or any seed oil, I want you to pick it up and I want you to throw it in the bin right now, okay? Because it is not good for you. It messes with your hormones. It messes with your health. It is not good for you. Um, and if you want to read this book, the book is called uh, Toxic Oil. And I think it's by a man called David Gillespie. You can look it up. You know, do your own research on these things. Don't just take my word for it. I challenge you to do your own research and know what is in the food that you are eating. Um, the other thing that people don't know, particularly about these seed oils, are that, you know, seed oils, uh, when they're producing seed oil, so cottonseed oil or sunflower seed oil, the process they use is chemicals to extract the oils. You pick up seeds, can you squeeze oil out of seeds? No, you cannot. They are through a chemical process to do it. So they are not good for you. And if you were to read this book, they, they mess with everything. They mess with all of the systems of the body. So if you have canola oil, vegetable oil, sunflower seed oil, or margarine with these ingredients in it, I challenge you to pick it up and go and put it in the bin, okay? It is not good for you. Sorry for this little rant, but I, 
I am very passionate about things that are healthy for people and that is something that is not healthy for you and that is something you can stop today if it is affecting your health okay so so yeah take note of that and if you have it then please get rid of it please move to something better if you want something on your you know sandwiches to spread then use butter use an olive oil spread you know use something that is good for you use avocado do not use margarine that has canola oil or vegetable oil or sunflower seed oil in it it is not good for you okay um so yeah i hope if you're in toowoomba i hope you're getting this lovely rain just like us and i pray that we do get more but yeah i will see you at this time tomorrow and i do apologize for the random location today but i am out getting the kids haircuts to make sure that they have <laughs> decent hair for school so anyway have a good day and yeah i'll see you at this time tomorrow bye <laughs>